What's going on guys? Two weeks ago, I applied for the EDIL loan and the PPP loan. Today, I got $150,000 from the EDIL loan and the PPP loan is waiting in limbo. I applied directly at the SBA website for the EIDL loan and I went through PayPal I, incidentally, I applied twice for the PPP loan and I've heard nothing from either site because I applied the first time before the money became available. And then um, I went ahead and I applied at PayPal because PayPal has a its own portal for applying for this PPP money. So if I get both of them, because I already got 150000 this is going to be $237,000 worth of stimulus money for my personal economy. <coughs> so let's talk about the EDL loan. That was pretty straightforward. The application was pretty quick. It was easy. They're going to ask you for your um, business, in, um, business identification, and they're going to actually run a credit check on you. They're going to do a soft pull. Uh, I don't know if it was soft pull. Actually, I think they did a hard pull, but they're going to run a credit check on you for the EDI alone. Also, this is interesting. Um, as I was going through the process, because when I filed, I, I actually didn't have any tax forms. And uh, there was a very helpful lady at the SBA. She's like, well, we need a copy of your lease because I have this address, I have my personal address, which is a UPS, UPS box, and I also have a corporate address. So I just went to the people that I'm renting my corporate mailbox and asked them to juice up me a lease, and they did. And I sent that lease in, and this morning, I had $150,000 in my business checking account. And that was it. They didn't ask a whole lot. Now, the PPP program is way different. All right, uh, I've been seeing there's been videos talking about as a sole proprietor, you could get this PPP money. The application that I filled out, I don't think that's the case because the PPP money is for payroll and they're gonna ask you for proof of your payroll. And let's have this conversation, ladies and gentlemen. I've been on this tip for many, many years. If you set up your business, set it up correctly. And so many of you are sole proprietors. So many of you um, don't want to put yourself on payroll. You want to take a draw out of your LLC and at the end of the year expense everything so you pay hardly no taxes. Um, that's a game if you're comfortable and you enjoy that game and it's working out for you, God bless and keep doing it. However, that's gonna prepare you to get any of this stimulus money because I'm looking at getting a quarter of a million dollars in stimulus. Why? Because I got everything set up correctly. So for many of you entrepreneurs out there who are taking a draw and what this a draw is, you literally just transfer money from your LLC bank account to your personal account. And then at the end of the year, you file your taxes and deal with that. Um, I am on salary for my company, and this is one of the things with the PPP money, because essentially they're gonna ask you for proof that you have a payroll. Because so many people lied the first time. They just like, hey, I got 100 employees. Boom, 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 boom. And they got all this money. So I think, you know, like I said, I don't know if I'm gonna get the PPP money, because there was one little thing where your um, bank, your business bank account address must match your business address. And essentially, I just sent it in anyway. I don't know. I haven't heard anything from them. I don't know if they've run out of money yet. I, I have no clue. But we're two weeks in holding on the PPP money. So I don't know if that's going to happen. I don't know if they're doing more due diligence. I don't know. But I did get the EDIL loan which go you could go straight to the small business administration website and this is loan is uh, the way i understand it isn't forgivable so i gotta pay that back but 
the interest rates is bananas. I mean, literally, if you were to walk into a bank and try to get a loan for $150,000, it, it's going to take a lot. I mean, is this the easiest business loan that I've ever gotten in my life? Other, well, actually, that's not true. I've gotten a, a PayPal loan, which was really easy. PayPal loan literally took five minutes. I got a Stripe loan, which literally took one day. So essentially, you know, I've getting people who are asking me questions about the corporate toolbox. Now, here's one thing. I am not gonna teach you guys how to lie. And you know, when I got the EDL loan, I told them the straight up truth. And I remember talking to the lady at the Small Business Administration. I was like, well, we did not file taxes that year because we were recouping our capital expenses. So, you know, she didn't even bat an eye at that because essentially we did not have, because they're gonna ask for tax forms for your business and we didn't have them. So I'm not gonna teach you guys how to lie or game the system or anything because I, I had someone that asked me who wanted to jump in the corporate toolbox and he was asking for this information and I just told him the truth that there's none of this information in there because essentially I'm not going to teach you how to lie and manipulate, uh, you know, because essentially who knows what's going to happen in the future when that comes back on you. So we're not going down that road. But right now, as I understand it, the Small Business Administration still has money and they got $150,000 this morning. And what I'm going to do is add that to my payroll. I essentially just transferred that 150 straight up to my payroll account and I'm just gonna pay myself. That's, that's what I'm gonna do with it. So essentially, let's talk about proper business organization, business structure. I started my holding company two years ago and I just really started using it um, August. So August, September, October, November, December. Made close to $400,000 doing that um so essentially for me because many of you have questions about at what point do you put yourself on payroll when are you making money because see there are so many people who are in that getting off the ground stage let's call it that just getting off the ground getting things going getting things rolling and that's a hard hard stage um Literally, when I started this YouTube business, online course business, digital publishing business, I did not make money. I started this in August 6, 2009, August, September, October, I released the book. And pretty much, I would have been in a position to put myself on payroll for about almost two years because the income was inconsistent. Like my first year, I made 62,000. My second year, I made 92,000. And that third year, I could have easily put myself on payroll because I did 1.5 million, but I didn't even do it because I was one of those, you know, just taking the draw and paying my bills that way. So one of the things I teach you in the corporate toolbox is how to properly set this up so essentially, I think there's, I'm gonna do some research today. I think there's some more money I could potentially get. I'm not sure. Because I've seen a lot of YouTubers who are making videos for clicks. Because I've seen a lot of information now that I have applied for the EDIL loan and I've applied for the PP loan that is 100% incorrect. Because if you cannot show proof of a payroll, they point blank ask you for proof of your payroll. So all I did was just copy my ADP information. I did the screenshot of my ADP showing my actual payroll. So I don't see how you're gonna get this money as a sole proprietor. I might be wrong. Uh, someone could correct me if I'm wrong. Someone could go ahead and put this out, but I don't see how you're gonna get this money as a sole proprietor. I don't see how you're gonna get this money. Um, once again, I've only done it the correct way. I have a business, I have an EIN, I have a business checking account, I actually have a real business. So I don't know about any of these um, alternative methods of getting this. 
And this is one of the things, you know, if you join the corporate toolbox, I'm going to teach you how to do it the right way. I know that so many people are looking for an angle or looking for the come up or looking like for a shortcut. Um, one of the reasons I felt, because essentially I got that EDL money really quickly. I mean, because I applied for the PPP money first and I applied for $87,000 because my payroll is 30,000. So you can do 2.5 times your payroll. <clears throat> so that was something that I could prove, but I've not heard anything about them. I don't know if they run out of money, but one of the things that you guys have got to understand, you have got to start doing stuff in advance because I feel there's going to be a third and potentially a fourth stimulus package. So you need to go ahead and get your holding company operating company. You need to get that stuff together. Even if you don't really know what you're going to do, you, you need to get that together, man. Cause you know, some of you, like I, I've actually had people who bought the corporate toolbox, who got the one, who still haven't done it. They still kind of like in that limbo link. I'm like, what are you waiting on? It's the first of the year. Go ahead, get your holding company, get your operating company. Cause essentially, I don't know what it is with people who don't want to do it the correct way. I see a lot of scammy type stuff in Instagram and YouTube and the YouTube ads. And like, I, I, I don't know, <clears throat> excuse me, this week I've been sick. Um, I don't know if um, people are fully aware that doing it the right way is the best way because you know I'm doing some research on millionaires and there's all of these felonious beliefs about millionaires it's very interesting that's going to be a savage finance so essentially I'm here to tell you the EDIL money is real you can go straight up to the small business administration website you're going to fill it out and they're going to give you an application number and literally I applied for the PPP money two weeks ago and I applied for the EDIL money a week ago. So it took a week for me to get $150,000. And the questions were pretty straightforward. I think it took me 10 minutes to fill out the application. And that application is radically different than the PPP application because the PPP, they ask you and they, they will ask you on the, um, PPP application, did you have a EDL loan before a certain time date? And I didn't have that loan when I felt the application, so I said no. But now I feel there's gonna be a third, I feel there's gonna be a fourth stimulus package, and you guys need to go ahead and get yourself together for this because it's the only stimulus out there. It, I mean, $150,000 in a week? Come on, bruh. I mean, essentially, let me give you the sauce, as they like to say here on the YouTubes. If you go ahead and get your business structure together and I got the EDIL loan without showing profit. We were in business, but we weren't making money. So essentially, you could get that loan and $125 to $150,000, take that loan, put it in your company account, put it in your payroll account, use that money to pay yourself while you're building your business. If you pay yourself $10,000 a month, this is gonna last 14 months. I mean, you know, cause I got a lot of people who wanna push back, who are looking for a very fast, expedient um, process. They're looking for something super quick. And here's the, here's the, the truth guys. I've been telling you this stuff for the last seven years, last seven years. If you've been listening to this channel for the last seven years, you have no excuse. I don't know what you're waiting on. I don't know if you're waiting for God to come whisper in your ear, my son, my daughter, let's do this. I mean, I don't know what you're waiting on. I, I simply don't know what you're waiting on because 2021 
is going to be um, rough. 2021 is going to be rough for the employed. It's going to be rough for the non-corporate citizen. It's going to be rough. So I got like 150 G's that I can use to pay myself. So that's going to pay me because I'm I put myself on salary for 360 thousand a year. So that's half a year of payroll for me, whether I make money in the business or not. I mean, come on. I mean, you can't get no better deal than that. And, you know, as you see, because uh, essentially I'm going to do another ATM receipt uh, end of the month. And my because my because essentially this this is what I'm doing. I'm segmenting my personal finances from my business finances. There, there, there's a firewall. This is business. Uh, essentially, I did get my third business credit card Topago, which is like I have the Divi credit, the Divi charge card, the Tobago charge card and the Wells Fargo credit card. So I have three business credit into, you know, cr resources right now. And Divi and Tobago are charge cards like American Express. The Wells Fargo credit card is like a true credit card. And as we go through this year, I'm going to get some more business credit cards because essentially I have like, hold on a second. Those are, those are my personal credit cards. I got like 40 of these joints, right? And you know what? I actually have uh, one in my wallet that I use. There's no balance on none of these cards. And I got 40 of them. So essentially, what I'm doing is I'm being really judicious because every month I'm doing an audit of my business. So I don't have to do this come tax time. So all of, you know, cause essentially and my taxes for 2021, I'm going to be ready because <laughs> this time 2020, I got a little work to do, but essentially I have my credit cards for my personal spend and I have my credit cards for my business spend. And I have all of my, websites, all of my uh, editors, everything on a business credit card, my YouTube masterminds on the business credit card. So all of those expenses are tax deductible and I'm going to have them neatly on a statement so I can just pull up the statements, add it all up. So one of the things that you're going to learn in the corporate toolbox is how to do this correctly, because I think Erica Williams has talked about this, that like 62, 70% of black businesses and Hispanic didn't apply for this money because they're not set up for it. I mean, come on guys, stop playing around. It ain't hard to do the right thing because I mean, if I were to walk into a bank, cause uh, my LLC is the holding company's two September, it'll be three years old but in September, it's only going to have one filed tax return for that business. And then in 2020, I would have my second tax year in 2021. I have my second tax year in 2022. I would have my third tax year. I would need three years of tax forms on file to walk to a bank to get that kind of loan. Now with PayPal and Stripe, you know, they go based upon your revenue. I, I got offered a Stripe loan for 125,000. I just took it because um, that's going to reduce the number that Stripe tells the Internal Revenue Service that I made by 125,000. So that's one of the reasons I took that, but that's part of my corporate debt. I have a PayPal loan that I'm gonna get paid off this year. Uh, the Stripe loan just happened, I think in October. I think that's like 30, 40% paid off and essentially you got to, you know, cause I'm going to do a video talking about business credit. Cause essentially I have business credit and I didn't do the net thirties and all this other stuff. And I'm going to teach you a different way how to get business credit. 
and the Topargo card, the Divi card are no PG. They're not tied to me. Even though Divi, Divi did not do a credit check on me. Wells Fargo did do a credit check. Um, but yeah, so this is what's going on. Like, you know, if you're thinking about joining the corporate toolbox, I don't have any explicit instructions on how to get the EDAO loan, but I teach you explicitly how to set up your company to position yourself to get this money. Because if I get the 87,000 from PayPal and the 150, that's almost my salary for a year. Whether I make any money or not. I want you to think of that. That's, that's a beautiful concept. It's a beautiful concept. And one of the things that um, I want you guys to understand is you got to be positioned to play the game. And you, you're going to need these corporate entities. You're just going to need them. And, you know, being a sole proprietor, like there's a video on this, like why you don't need an LLC. Um, I have heard, I don't know. I'm going to be clear about that. I don't know if you can get this loan as a sole proprietor. I don't, that's not the way that I got it. So I don't even know about that. I don't know how true that is, but I do know, I have seen a few videos that I have no personally or factually incorrect because of the filling out the applications. You cannot get this because they're going to ask for proof of your payroll, proof of your payroll. It's explicit. It's like, all right, we need to see what your payroll is and you need to provide proof. How are you going to get around that as a sole proprietor unless you have put yourself on payroll with ADP? How are you going to get around that, bro? How are you going to get around that? So that's what's going on. If I get the PPP money, because we're two weeks in holding, uh, I may call them today and see what's going on. I'll do a video about that, but it's real. This money is real. I got $150,000 in a week, in a week. And I didn't lie about nothing. I told no fibs. I told no half troops. I was like, this is what I got. And essentially with this little hiccup where I had to provide a copy of my lease, I just went to the folks and I had them strike me up a lease and I emailed them a copy of that and booyah, I got my money. So let me know your thoughts and concerns and I will see you guys in the next one. And oh yeah, like for the guys in the corporate toolbox, I'm really sorry about yesterday. Like I was, man, beat down and I kind of feel okay now, but I don't know if it's gonna hit me again. So we may try to do that today. If not, we'll be back in the saddle again next week. So with that, we'll talk to you guys in the next one.